In this video, I'm going to teach you how to adapt your choice question for a child who is using more words. Hi, I'm Jane from Talking Made Easy and today I'm going to share with you one simple change you can make to your choice question to make it fit the level of your child's language. For example, for a child who already speaks with two words at a time, I'll show you how to adapt your choice question to encourage a response of two or three words. If you haven't already seen my first video on choice question, I recommend that you watch it first to get the foundation of what it is before watching the rest of this video. So, you've been using your choice question and it's going well, but your child needs more. When we start on our choice questions, we tend to give choices that require just a one word answer. For example, is it blue or orange? Is it an apple or a banana? Is it a little spoon or a big spoon? This is ideal for a child who is only using one or two words at a time. But if you notice that your child is using three or four words in their phrases, then we need to step it up a notch with our choice question and meet them where they're at. Today, let's look at how we can expand the choice question so that your child, who has a little more language, has the chance to use it. To do this, we are simply going to give slightly longer and more varied choices. The easiest way to do this is to think about wanting to have two or three parts to each choice that differ. For example, I might say, would you like to eat inside or play outside? Where before I would have said, do you want to eat inside or outside? The choice differs by only one element. I've now got two differing elements. I could say, are we listening to music or playing outside? Again, two differing elements, meaning I need at least two different words in response. For three differing options requiring three words or more in response, I could say, is it my blue dinosaur or your red car? Is it your pink t-shirt or my black sweatshirt? Are we playing on the swing outside? or sitting on the couch inside. You'll notice that I have put the correct answer at the end so that it is most memorable and accessible for the child to copy. I have also emphasized the parts, making them easier to identify and remember. For more details on making your choice question effective for your child, take a look at my other video. It can be a bit clunky at the beginning, but I encourage you to dive in and give it a go. Remember, if you don't get the response you're looking for, there is always a space to have another turn. Ultimately, have fun and happy chatting.